doctors and nurses are testifying in House of Commons committees that medical supplies are being rationed breadline style in Canadian hospitals because the government failed to prepare for a pandemic and then gave away what little supplies the government had in the national strategic stockpile. Did you know that the public health agency exists to prepare the country for pandemics? Just look at this from the government's own background or website for the agency. The agency was established in September 2004 in part as a response to the SARS outbreak in 2003 and was confirmed as a legal entity in December 2006 by the Public Health Agency of Canada Act to address concerns about human pathogens and toxins. Parliament passed the Human Pathogens and Toxins Act in 2009. The agency is charged with enforcing the act and supporting human pathogens and toxins regulations, which came into force in 2015. Human pathogens, you know, like the COVID-19 virus now grinding Canada to a halt. But look at this from Black Locks. The $675 million per year Public Health Agency of Canada was, quote, caught flat-footed by COVID-19, though it was created by Parliament for pandemic preparedness. The Canadian Medical Association said doctors confirmed medical supplies have been rationed after the agency ignored repeated warnings to stock up. Testifying at the Commons Health Committee, Dr. Sandy Buckman of the Medical Association of Canada said an association survey of 5,000 physicians conducted last week shows a dark reality of shortages of masks, goggles, face shields, and other supplies. Messages about the health of Canadians and the health of the economy mean nothing without an equal pillar, the health and safety of our frontline workers, said Buckman. At this point, it is of incredible urgency that we support our care providers. But wait, this gets worse. Dr. Alan Drummond of Perth, Ontario, president of the Canadian Association of Emergency Physicians, told that same Commons Committee that doctors have cited disturbing reports of insufficient quantity, rationing, or uncertain availability of supplies. The pandemic has not yet peaked and will be with us for some time, said Drummond. When was your organization first contacted by the Public Health Agency and Health Canada to work collaboratively on COVID-19? Asked MP Matt Genero of Edmonton Riverbend. He's the conservative health critic. I'm not sure we ever were, replied Dr. Drummond. Is your hospital currently rationing personal protective equipment? asked MP Don Davies, Vancouver Kingsway. He's the new Democrat health critic. That's a loaded question, replied Drummond. What is happening in my hospital as an example of what is happening across the country is the preservation of personal protective equipment, said Drummond. Some would call it rationing. Certainly our nurses are being told to use two surgical masks on a shift basis which can go from 8 to 12 hours. That feels like rationing. Linda Silas, president of the Canadian Nurses Association, testified that she has heard stories of nurses being given a paper bag to put their mask to bring back from home the next day. Now here's where the public health agency becomes the agency responsible for this debacle. Auditors in a 2011 evaluation of the national stockpile system specifically warned the agency to ensure a stockpile of, quote, pandemic preparedness supplies. So the public health agency had nine years to stock up on masks and supplies, but really didn't. This is weird because the public health agency was literally created to plan for pandemics and is headed by Teresa Tam, someone who signed off on a 2006 pandemic preparedness study that said the next pandemic would come from Asia and be made worse by air travel. However, she was probably too busy chasing racists down in her Twitter replies to chase down masks for doctors and frontline workers who desperately need them.
However, after all of this, after repeated warnings dating back at least nine years, and a report signed off by the current head of the public health agency saying to prepare for an imminent global pandemic, Trudeau's government gave Canada's already far too small strategic stockpile of masks away in February, 16 tons worth, to the place where they actually make the masks, China. And then the government patted themselves on the back for it. And then just a few weeks later, the government was forced to put out a desperate plea, a procurement request for masks for Canadian frontline workers. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunreid. One of the best ways to help us here at Rebel News is to make sure that everybody knows about us. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and ring the bell so you never miss an upload from us. But also, if you still want to help us, you can go to helprebelnews.com. Um, you can donate on that page and we rely on the support of people like you at home because we will never take a penny from Justin Trudeau. How could we hold him to account if we do? That's helprebelnews.com.